Good morning. Welcome to St. Charles. Let us offer together our prayer for a better understanding of true stewardship in our lives and in our parish. Lord God, you alone are the source of every good gift, of the vast array of our universe and the mystery of each human life. We praise you and we thank you for your great power and your tender, faithful love. Everything we are and everything we have is your gift. And after having created us, you have given us into the keeping of your Son, Jesus Christ. In the name and spirit of Jesus, we commit ourselves to be good stewards of the gifts entrusted to us, to share our time, our talent, our material gifts as an outward sign of the treasure we hold in Jesus. Amen. Our presider for this Mass will be Father Ryan. Please join us in singing number 598, Breaking Bread, Christ Be Our Light. Please stand. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Bless 
Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Standing at one end of the open place that was before the water gate, he read out of the book from daybreak till midday. In the presence of the men, the women, and those children old enough to understand, and all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that all the people might see it, for he was standing higher up than any of the people, and as he opened it, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people, their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and prostrated themselves before the Lord, their faces to the ground. Ezra read plainly from the book of the law of God, interpreting it so that all could understand what was said. Then Nehemiah, that is, His Excellency, and Ezra, the priest, scribe, and the Levites who were instructing the people, said to all the people, Today is holy to the Lord our God. Do not be sad. Do not weep. For all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said further, Go, eat rich foods and drink sweet drinks, and allot portions to those who had nothing prepared for today is holy to the Lord. Do not be sad in this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God.
shine upon us. Shine upon us. Shine upon us. Lord, let your face shine upon us. Shine. Listen to my song, hear me when I call, O Lord, my God, be gracious, hear my prayer, Lord, let your face shine upon us, shine my name, set your seal upon my heart. You hear me when I call. Lord, let your face shine upon us. Shine A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. You are Christ's body and individually parts of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. will have the light of life 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Give the glory and the honor to the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Since many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as those who were eyewitnesses from the beginning and ministers of the word handed them down to us, I too have decided, after investigating everything accurately anew, to write it down in an orderly sequence for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may realize the certainty of the teachings you have received. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news of him spread throughout the whole region. He taught in their synagogues and was praised by all. He came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up and read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind and to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. The Gospel of the Lord. I see who has four-wheel drive and who doesn't. Rod. So. Of course, we see this, this famous passage, the Gospel of Luke, where Christ walks into the synagogue and is handed the scroll of Isaiah. And Christ is the fulfillment of the old law, of the Old Testament. Everything hidden in the Old Testament the sacrifices, the prophecies, the images, the symbols has been fulfilled in Christ. He is the fulfillment of the law and we should always look to Christ. And when Christ left us and ascended into heaven, he continues to dwell among us most proximate and most visible is in the sacraments of the church. You will experience for himself, for yourself, Jesus Christ, true body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist in a few moments. You experience his spirit in the other sacraments of the church, especially reconciliation and the anointing of the sick. In Paul's second reading, he says, we are all individual members, but we are one body, one spirit in Christ. In the longer version of the second reading, some are ministers, some interpret tongues, some speak in tongues, some are educators, but all of us, all of us are one body. And we must always remain one body. Because in our baptism, we were baptized as sons and daughters of Christ and his church. He left us his church. The Roman Catholic Church. He left us his church. 
and we must think and act with the church. We must think and act with its teachings. Paul tells us this 2,000 years ago. And it has not changed. It is the same. We have many talents to offer. We have many gifts to share. And because you and I are both baptized, we are called by our baptism to go out into the world and to spread the good news of the gospel, to live the teachings of the church, and to follow his commandments. When we do not do this, we are cut off from the body of Christ. We are cut off from that vine that produces good wine. Do you know what happens to the branch that is cut off? From the main body, it withers and dies. No matter how good your intentions are, if you do not act with the church, with the teachings of the church, with the commandments, then you are cut off from that living grace that is the body of Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, let us always look to Jesus, look to his sacraments, and look to his church. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Let us stand now and profess our Catholic faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Even the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring now our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For the church, that we may be believers of the good news to all who are poor or oppressed, and that we may reflect God's compassion and generosity to all we meet, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for leaders of our country and our community, that they may preserve in their work to achieve the liberty and justice for all, especially the marginalized and forgotten, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer from the bitter cold of winter, especially those who are homeless, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all gathered here, May the Lord help us grow in our understanding of his merciful love for us. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For Margie Ardetti, whom we remember in this Mass, and for James Viano and Anna Dean, who were buried this week. May all the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
for the needs we hold within our hearts. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. This January, we pray especially for uh, the unborn. We pray for the protection of life from conception until natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all mothers who are with child this day, those who are considering abortions, that the Lord may touch their heart, that she may receive the love and support and resources she needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask you to hear and to answer our prayers, for you are life itself. We make all these prayers through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray. And in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty is our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. Indeed, holy O Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the day he himself took bread, 
thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of when we We celebrate the memorial of his wondrous resurrection and ascension. And as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the elevation of your church and recognize it the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are by the body and blood of your son, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body. One spirit in Christ. May he make us eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Charles Borromeo, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by the Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who've trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Body of Christ. 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 Amen. Please join us in singing number 326, Breaking Bread, I Am the Bread of Life. Yeah. 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As the uh, head of Youth and Young Adult Ministry for the Diocese, we had planned today a, a Eucharistic procession at St. Jude. Uh, in Columbiana, but I uh, made the executive decision uh, to cancel that and postpone it uh, for the safety and welfare. So if you were planning on attending, uh, stay home, eat a turkey TV dinner and a glass of Shasta or something and stay warm. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God 
bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord.